Warning, this video is only for those who are sincere. So if you are sincere, then stay till the end of this video to know what truly happened between me and Dawa Man. But if you're insincere, you're going to click out this video anytime that you want. Either way, thank you for watching. And you're going to sit here and talk about my sister, bro? Okay, you talk about me. You talk about me. Okay, khalas, fine. But then you talk about my sister, my family, my children? Wallahi, bro, I'm coming after you. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and. <laughs> that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. My beef with Dawa man, uh, Imran. Ibn Masur, I believe that's his full name, is going to be fully explained in this video. And for those of you who are just going to click off this video in the next, I don't know, I don't even have a watch on, maybe 15 to 20 seconds, you're not really going to understand what I'm talking about. You're going to say something crazy in the comment section, da 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 but I appreciate your comment nonetheless. So my beef with Imran, brother Imran, uh, Dawa man, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about that right now. And I'll be honest with you, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing to share because I'm someone who comes off as someone, you know, don't judge them. Don't, you know, uh, you know, uh, say negative things about people. Assume the best in people. Yet your brother is the ultimate fraud. Oh, goodness. Oh, airplane mode. Sorry, guys. I gotta check my phone. Like, I'm trying to buy a new phone today. That's what's happening right now. So someone's calling me. I went on Craigslist to get this new phone because my phone is damaged. I'm trying to fix this out, right? Sorry about that, but we're getting back to the video right now, okay? Your brother is the ultimate fraud. Your brother, SQ, is the ultimate fraud. And let me tell you why. Because on camera, I can be like, don't judge them and blah, 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 blah. But when it comes to my own personal affairs, I completely ignore my own advice. Because it's easy to tell someone else to not judge someone, not assume the worst in someone. But when it comes to your own like medicine, it's the toughest pill to swallow, isn't it? it tastes bitter. Allah. May Allah grant us all shifa and cure. So if you're if you're on this you know YouTube channel and you know that I post daily videos every single day. I appreciate connecting with you in the comment section, so on and so forth. And I'm enjoying these videos because it allows me to really Use it as a way for me to express myself. It's like a like it's literally a vlog. It's it's a it's a it's a vlog of my mind and what's going on in my mind. And I'm I'm ashamed to tell you that I've done some really wrong things. And my biggest wrong that I've done is with Dawa man. And here's why. You see, if you're in the Dawa game or the Dawa scene, which is a stupid name, these are all stupid titles that we're putting each other to put separation between people. If you're in this dawa game or dawa scene or giving dawa, you know, all of a sudden there's certain people that you don't connect with. I'm just like, I'm pulling back the curtain on something that a lot of you guys don't know about. There's certain people that you don't hang with. Why? Because their reputation is going to rub off on you even if you have nothing to do with them. I remember when I was on the come up. I still am on the come up. I haven't made nothing and I'm a nobody anyways. The fact that you're watching this video, I appreciate you because your brother is a nobody. I was being told by no one that you know. So don't think that SQ is trying to start fitting up between people. No one that you know. Assume the best in people. By people you don't know. That stay away from Dawa men. Listen to what they just told me. Stay away from Dawa men. Why is that? Because he... And here, in the UK, he's not known as someone good. You don't want to be around him. You don't want to be around that. And I'm naive. I'm like, okay, uh, thank you for your protection. Thank you for looking out for me. Those are the same people who recently said something about me now. And again, it's no one that you know. So don't even think for a second that it's someone that you know. That it's someone big in the Dawah game. Let the shaitan get away from you. Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. Get them out of here. Wallahi, the Shaitan loves enmity between brothers. Don't, don't let him get that satisfaction. These are from strangers, from nobodies that you don't even know. Those are the same people saying that, oh, people are saying to you, bro, uh, you know, that, oh, people don't want to like collab with you, this and that. Why? Because, bro, you're doing this, 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 this. And I'm just like, wow. SubhanAllah. 
that was the same warning you gave against me for da'wah, man. And now you're giving that same warning against others for me. Allahu Akbar. Isn't it crazy? The mistake that I made was I listened to them. I went against my own intuition. My intuition told me to not listen to them. My intuition told me like, listen, bro, you be the judge of the situation. Do you know how people judged you and judge you constantly? Sorry, my string. Sorry. It's windy out here. Do you know how many people judge you in your circumstance and your situation? How would you feel if someone said that against you? That's the, but I listened to them. I was naive. I was wet behind my ears. I listened to them. I allowed someone else's view or judgment on someone else dictated how I viewed them, how I judged them. And wallahi, the fact that you're trying to warn me against this person, that's definitely not a part of the sunnah. I should have found more warning against you than I did about them. Honestly. And this is again, 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 this is not anyone that you guys know. Don't assume the worst in them. If they were to even watch this video, please don't think I'm assuming the worst in you. But wallahi, thank you for this. Honestly, thank you. Because you've given me something that I didn't have before, which was called perspective. You gave me perspective that this dawah game is a very, you know, fickle, fecal, fickle, I don't know the word. Fickle, fecal, I don't know. Very loose, you know, kind of thing. That one day they're with you, one day they turn against you. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't good reason to turn against the bro. I don't know. I don't know these things. But I want to say one thing, that it is not okay for us to think or label people as the black sheep. And unfortunately, Dawah man has been labeled as the black sheep. He is the black sheep of the family, of the Dawah family. And that's wrong. That's, do you not see a problem with that? Do you not see a problem with that? The fact that we could say, oh, no, 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 mashallah, mashallah. He's a good brother. He's a good brother. He's a good brother. But... Because tomorrow, the same people who are saying that about him, and if I listen to them about him, they're going to say the same thing about me. And they already are. Do you know how much that messes with my head? Do you know how much that messes with anyone's head? That makes you switch up your style. They won't be pleased with me until I become exactly the way they want me to be. They won't be pleased with me until I become and act exactly the way. The way they want me to post out videos, that's the only way I can make videos. The way they want me to give da'wah, that's the only way I can give da'wah. Once again, this is no one that you know. No one that you know. And if they're watching this video, may Allah bless you. I'm not talking against you or bad against you. I love you for the sake of Allah. But we need to all remind ourselves that we shouldn't be warning against people like that. For what? My reputation? Why is that? Why is it that I can't hang out with Dawah men without me being labeled as something? And I'll be honest with you, that's put a really negative impression of Dawah man in my mind, in my heart too. That has. It's made me think of him as someone like, oh man, if I got saw with him, they're going to think I'm just like him. Why not? He looks like a really good brother. He's a handsome brother, mashallah. He gives really awesome and passionate talks. Why not? Why is that a bad thing? See, that's the problem amongst each other. We talk about unity and da 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 but we are still the same people who are making others and ostracizing others and, and treating them like they're lepers. The same YouTubers, the same YouTubers who are promoting this whole, you know, fear Allah, don't judge people, da 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 I'm, I'm not talking about anyone else, I'm that person and I'm still thinking negatively of other people. Why is that? Why? That's problematic. I'll tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because you guys out there would turn on me. That's the reason. You guys out there would turn on me. You guys out there would be like, oh, you're a khwani. What is it? Khwani? I don't know. Does that not mean brothers? Or sisters. I don't know what that means. I'm a jahil. I don't know. Oh, you're, you're from the, 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 I don't know. I don't know these names that y'all be saying. I don't know. I'm just a basic dude who's here to promote Islam and give da'wah. So I, I don't know all these names that you're talking about. I don't know these things, guys. But all I can say is this. I don't want to be of those who, you know, are, are, are ostracizing people and telling, casting people out and saying negative things about people. Because guess what? I found out that people say negative things about me. And wallahi, it hurts. Hi, how you doing, love? You okay? Nice seeing you. It hurts me. It hurt me and it broke me. <laughs> it hurts me and it breaks me. And I'm just like, Wow. But we're doing that to other people. I'm just like, hey, don't do that to Adam Saleh. That's what y'all doing to him. Don't do that. But I found myself, I'm doing that to Dawah, man. 
I'm doing that to people like Shamsi. I don't know these people. Why am I judging who they are from a YouTube video? I haven't spent time with them. I'm not their neighbor. I haven't traveled with them. I don't live with them. Yet I've promoted and... Pr May Allah guide me. Wallahi, make dua for me, guys. Please. Your brother is a... Your brother is the ultimate fraud. Wallahi, I'm a fraud. Wallahi, I'm, I'm just, I'm so bad. Make dua for me. My heart, wallahi, it's black. It's dark. It's stone. Wallahi, make dua for me. Make dua for me, please. I have a lot of problems in my heart that I'm fighting every single day. Make dua for me, please. Your brother did a disservice to you all. And that's what this video is about. My beef with Dawah Man is really a beef against myself of how I can actually treat another human being like that. How I can go against the sun. No, brother, we judge based off of what's apparent. What's apparent? What's apparent? Tell me what's apparent. Do you know how many people say nasty things about me? Oh, he's so cringe. He's so this. And wallahi, it breaks my heart. Because I'm like, yo, you don't even know me. Yet I'm doing that to Dawah Man. I'm doing that to the Shamsies. I don't know these people well. I don't know these people. Yet I'm thinking negatively of them i'm thinking like they're like oh i shouldn't be known with them and this and that okay i might not agree with how they move based off of what i've seen in those youtube videos but that's okay there's a lot of people who don't agree with how i move does that mean you write me off too well like, this comes down to the basics of the hadith of loving for your brother what you love for yourself i would not love for anyone to judge me off of one YouTube video or one of my worst YouTube videos or a video that I did when I was more immature. I would not want that. I would not want someone to have a negative opinion about me based off of one video or something, yet your brother SQ is okay with doing that to someone else. And honestly, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself for behaving that way because that's not the correct way for a Muslim to behave. That goes against what I preach. That goes against what I teach. That goes against how I carry myself as a human being. That's just wrong, wallahi, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Brother Imran, for treating you this way. And honestly, you're a way better person than I am. Because what you guys don't know, which I'm going to reveal right here, is that once I made that video yesterday, and, and this is before I even uploaded it, I went into my Instagram, which I haven't checked in a while, uh, because that's another demon I'm dealing with. That's a separate demon I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to renew my intentions for that too and come back stronger. Because if I don't renew my intention, who is? If I don't check my intention, if I don't check my intent for doing certain things and posting certain things, who will? Who will? I get in a message and that's from Dawa Man Returns. Right here, Dawa Man Returns. And I sent him a long voice note apologizing to him. He doesn't even know why, but I apologize to him. But let me guess what you want. You, you, you guys like the tea, don't you? And this is what I'm going to put in my intro just to make you a little more time. Be like, yes, you clickbaited me. Watch this. This is what I'm going to do. Watch, watch. And you're going to sit here and talk about my sister, bro? Okay, you talk about me. You talk about me. Okay, khalas, fine. But then you talk about my sister, my family, my children? Wallahi, bro, I'm coming after you. <laughs> that's gonna be my intro and you guys are gonna be oh my god what did that man do and some of you are not gonna even watch the video you're just gonna finish oh i always knew i am subscribed from it a long time ago I, da, 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 da. calm down well let calm down i like doing that to you guys it exposes who we are on the inside doesn't it be patient be patient what did they tell musa al-islam when he met the man instead of the calf he's just like man you won't have patience with me. You don't. We're human beings, we lack patience. So, look guys, that's the video. If you aren't catching the drift right now, I record a daily video every single day and it's like this. Those social experiments are coming. I have a major announcement coming up. It's going to be an announcement that's going to be taken down in 24 hours. It's going to be a 24 hour only video and then it's taken down. No ifs, ands, or buts, inshallah. Um, but letting you know, that some a lot of cool social experiments are coming up. I'm going to Las Vegas uh, next Friday, inshallah, inshallah. Uh, catch uh, catch me over there. I'm going to be doing some uh, Quran social experiments over there. Uh, some, excuse me, AirPod and uh, Apple Watch giveaways as well in Las Vegas. So stay tuned for that. Love you all for the sake of Allah. If you haven't uh, watched any of my other videos, do click them. Do give them. Give them a chance over here. There's two videos. One's best for viewer. One is, um, I'm sorry, I'm itchy. I need, I'm ashy right now, guys. Uh. One's best for viewer. One is a video that's my latest, latest video. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, keep it that way. I think it's for the best. And until next time, I'm out.